what's going on there guys bearded vapor back with another review right today we're doing something a little bit different i got talking to someone and basically they gave me something done by blue okay it's the new blade blue acr okay what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a quick look at it okay i do apologize for having no video uh last week i've been really busy i was actually at the hospital with my other half um we are having a baby, we're having a baby girl. So by the time I got home, I had no time to get something uploaded for you guys. This video might be a little bit late, but at least I'm producing a video. If you do want to see and keep on touch with everything, go hit the down there and go to my Instagram. Have a look at that. I post pretty much daily, if not every other day. So go and hit that one up. So as I said, we've got something by Blue. Okay, we have got two items. I haven't got the other one with me. But let's go and have a look at this first. Let's have a quick vape. Right, guys. So, the box. It's a bit different here. Okay, see these little flanges here? There's one either side. Okay, they've child safety the box. So, you open up the box by the top, make sure it's all the right way, and then you push them in. By pushing them in at the same time as pulling them, it's a pain opens it okay they're all connected to the inside here they're really quite cool the only problem is is where they are sharp there that one's a bit blunted but look at that if you do catch it on your finger it's gonna go and hurt so the mod is generally sat like so and you've got a user guide you've got two atomizers at 0 0.6 ohms a USB cable and spare atomizer okay we've all pretty much seen this type of kit before okay it looks very very similar to the uh, joytech aio okay so it's been around quite a lot long time top fill push down unscrew and then exactly the same fill it in the top right to the max line slot it back in and screw it back down okay it's got a 1500 mAh battery so it's a medium sized battery um, it is a really really nice one I'm personally running some mixed juice okay link will be in the description they've just released it like another like seven or eight new flavors like they've got blackjack now personally my favorite out of that was the pink lemon um, sorry uh, black currant lemonade and twisted ice cream, so like there's the flavours there. There you go, I'll leave that so you can pause it quickly. This is a tester box, zero nicotine, just to see if you like it, for $6.99. You really can't go wrong for 10 bottles of juice. Yeah, if you're a zero nicotine, I'd happily have some of that. They're really, really good flavours. Um, gentleman gave me this as well. Okay, nice little product sheet. Have a look. Okay, it retails for $29.99. Okay, the atomizers come in packs of five for $9.99, and obviously their juice varies. If you do go to their website now, they have got some of their kits at cheap. I believe they're doing them for a pound to five pound at the moment. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the offer's still on. It was last week. Um, I'm not sure if it is this week. Um, quick charge capability, two amp. As I said, a little 1,100 mAh battery. It should charge within an hour and a half, apparently. Okay, I haven't actually charged this yet. I've been using it. It's okay. It's the exact same as the AIO, personally. Um, it gives off a nice weight. I believe I've got the iced peach in there from there at the moment. Really, really nice flavor. Really good, okay? So you've got a nice little blue light, okay? It goes blue, then turns to amber, then turns to red when it's dead. Um, for someone that's coming in and starting the vaping, that wants to go not to a vape shop, they're probably going to go for blue, because that's where most of the supermarkets sit at. I'm, I'm a little bit in between here. You should go to a vape shop. If a vape shop does stock blue, well done. Um, they are offering a big thing at the moment. Um, but I've always slated blue because I'm not a keener of them. But I don't mind this, okay? Looks, 
I'm going to give it a three to a four. It's very, very simple. Um, function reality, it's going to be a seven because it's very easy. You just screw the atomizer into the top, put it in, leave it to sit for five minutes, and then go again. You can prime it to use it straight away. Um, flavor off of it, five. It's not amazing, but it's not great. It's not bad. You have got adjustable airflow there as well, which is really handy. So you can tailor it a little bit. Battery life, I've had it running now for two days and it seems to be fine. It seems to be going strong. For a little 15, a 1,500 mile battery, it's not bad at all. Um, overall, that's really my opinion on it. Um, I would maybe buy one for someone that wanted to come in from vaping. But every most vape shop stocked your iTech, so most people will have the AIO, which is the very, very similar, I think. Um, all round though, it's an okay kit. There's not really much more to say about it, really. It is a, it is it is nice though, there you go. It's a square shape, so it does fit in the hand reasonably well, which obviously the circle and they've made it sort of like the triangle, so it does go well. Right, that's it from me today. Hopefully we should have some new products coming through. If we don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We've sort of gone a little bit stale at the moment with all the products. There hasn't been that many coming through. I know E-Leaf have just released a new one and so have Wizmec. So we're hoping to get them through the door soon um, and then I can review them for you guys. So that's enough from me today. Go hit a subscribe, hit the like button. We're at 60. Right guys, absolutely amazing. I'm loving being at 60. Let's keep it going and let's uh, get to 100. That's the next one. And then we'll do some giveaways at 100. Right, have a good one.